In this video, I show you how to add subtitles to a video on an iPhone or an Android device. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's go and jump straight into this guide. Here we are on my phone, but I just want to make it clear that this guide is going to work on all types of devices. Android, iOS is all going to work. So in this guide, we're using a third party app, but this app is on most devices. So go and open the App Store or the Play Store, whatever store you have on your device. And what you need to do is go and search for something called CapCut. CapCut is a fantastic free video editor. It's got so many functions to it, and one of them being we can go and add captions and subtitles to any video. So once you've downloaded it, go and click open, just like so, and here we are. And then what you need to do is hit new project, like so, and it's important that you've gone and recorded the video and that it's in your photo library or your photo gallery. I'm going to use this video in the top left, so go and tap in the checkbox, like so, and there we go. And then once you've selected the videos you want to go and add, go and tap on add in the bottom right, like so, and then it's going to add it to your project, and here it is. And here it is, it's about 10 times seconds of me talking. So then what you need to do is once you've imported the video, as I said before, there are so many things you can do. In this video, I'm be focusing on adding um, captions and subtitles. It's important that you haven't selected any of the video. So if you've gone and selected it, go and tap back in the bottom left and then you should see all the tools in the bottom. Then go and tap on text like so, the third option along, it may be slightly different for you. And then you need to go and tap on auto captions, which is also the third option along, but it may be different for you once again. When you go and tap on auto captions, it seems quite confusing, but don't worry. All you want to do is make sure original sound is selected and then you can go and press start at the bottom like so. And as you can see, it's now creating the auto captions. And this will take longer uh, if there is a longer video and there's more text to transcribe. Now, if I go and play it back, as you can see, we can now go and see the text appearing on the screen. However, it looks really basic. So we can go and apply some effects to this and make it look way better. So to do that, all you need to do is go and select any of the uh, captions or subtitles like so. And then you need to go and tap on batch edit in the bottom left. And then what you need to do is press select and then select all. So what we can do is apply effects to all of the different subtitles. You don't have to do each one of them. Then what you need to do is press edit once you've selected them all in the bottom right. So tap edit. And then what we can go and do is go and choose the font. So scroll through until you see a font you like. I quite like just a classic font here. So I'm going to go and tap on classic like so. And there we go. And then once you're happy with that, we can then go along to style to the right of font, just like so in this sort of carousel of options. Then there's quite a few styles to look at. You can use one of these at the top and it's going to be you know different colors. I personally have to keep it a little bit more basic. So I'm going to tap on the remove option on the left hand side. Then what you want to do is scroll down and you can go and increase the size if you'd like. If you make it too big, some of the text is going to be off the screen for the other captions because some of your sentences will be longer. Now let's get into the next style setting. So to the right of text is the option for stroke. So tap on stroke. Now a stroke is going to be adding an outline to the text just like so. As you can see, I've got a black or red one. I'm going to remove that by pressing on that uh, remove button on the, on the left hand side though. Then you've got canvas, that's like a background. I think a shadow looks really cool. It's what I always add to mine. So I'm gonna add a black shadow. So I'll tap there. As you can see, it's already appeared. Then you can go and change the opacity, the blur, the distance, and the angle as well. Um, so I might go and make the opacity a little bit smaller like so, and maybe increase the blur just like that. Then you can go into spacing. So that's gonna make the, the text more spread out and a bit bigger like that. Um, I'm gonna keep it pretty low though. And then you've got a few more options down here. And then you've got bold italic. So that's adding bold or italic or an underline. Then we can get into effects. Once again, there are so many effects to go and look at. Uh, and then we can go and scroll along and go into animation. Now animation is really cool because we can go and sort of change how uh, the text is going to appear in each video. So we could have like a fade in, for example, and that's going to fade in for each uh, subtitle. This is going to apply to all of them and that's fading in and you can go and choose an out uh, effect as well. So press out and we could have like a blur or, you know, any of them. And you can also go and look at bubble effects if you'd like as well. But once you're happy with it, go and press on the tick just like so and press the tick again. And here we are. We can now play through and you can go and see the effects we've gone and applied. And now what I recommend doing is playing it back to make sure all the text has been um, like displayed correctly because sometimes when you're speaking you may sort of stutter or just say a word incorrectly and then that's automatically detected as something different or there may be a spelling or they've just used the wrong type of word so if that is the case go and tap on it just like so and make sure it's selected in the timeline and then you can go and tap on the text on the video inside that white box and then you can go and change how it is spelled for example if you want to go and add a capital to, to something or you know change a different to change how what cool says 
you know, it could be anything like that. And then just go and press the tick and then it's going to be applied. And that's the main thing, guys. You can apply so many different effects to them. I've just kept it quite basic. Final thing you can do is just go and remove the outro, which says cap cut. So just tap on it, literally just tap on it like that. Then press delete in the bottom right. And then it's going to end when you stop speaking. And then once you're happy with it and you want to go and save it to your phone, all you need to do is go and press on the export button in the top right of CapCut, which is the arrow pointing upwards. So tap there. And as you can see, it's now exporting and you can wait for it to fin fully finish exporting. And then it's going to be saved to your camera roll. Um, and you could go, or you can go and post it from to social media straight from here as well. And now here we are in my camera roll. And as you can see, there are the subtitles appearing on the screen. It's super, super easy and it's free. If you guys found this useful, please go down below and leave me a like. Peace.